Hello, welcome back to the What to Expect training for Funeral Directors and Arrangers, Part 2. We're going to pick up off at the Certifier tab where you're going to choose a coroner for the certifier type. So simply select coroner from the certifier type dropdown and then choose the name from the list. Under the Cause of Death tab, in this example, it'll be a pending investigation. So when reviewing the record, you will see yes under pending investigation that they filled out death to communicable disease and that the immediate cause of death is listed as a pending investigation. At the bottom of the cause of death tab, the other significant conditions contributing to death will be blank, but please ensure that they filled out the autopsy box, did tobacco use contribute to death, they selected from the if female dropdown, and they will put yes, coroner was contacted, they were contacted to work the case, however, they may also be contacted simply just to review. For the cause of death continued tab, we'll show you two examples. The first example will be the manner of a death is accident. Please ensure that under the injury, that there is a date of injury, a time of injury, and a description of how the injury occurred. For this first example, we'll be showing an injury at work, so please make sure this box is selected yes, and they have selected a place of injury. For this next example, we will do another accident. Please ensure that the date and the time and description of the accident is included. However, this is a transportation injury, so they'll select no for injury at work and yes for transportation injury. Please make sure that they specify whether they are a driver or a passenger and include the location and possible street address of the injury. They may also use a mile marker or coordinates of longitude and latitude. The CDC cheat sheet is an instruction sheet that was established in 2003. We have put this sheet within the EDRS for your convenience. It's located under the Help menu, and you will click Completing COD Natural Causes. Now there are two lists on this sheet. The first list contains medical terms that will require more etiology from the certifier. The very bottom list contains medical terms that are required a coroner review. Here is a preview of the sheet. As you can see on the right hand side toward the top there is a large list of terms that require additional etiology. At the bottom you may also see a shorter list that contains terms and causes of death that do require a coroner review. Next is for injury. Please familiarize yourself with this list on how an injury should be reported within the EDRS. This injury sheet is also found in the same location as natural causes under the help COD injury. Also, the CDC provides a cause of death app for your phone. It is available on the iPhone and Android store. Simply search CDC cause of death and you will see an orange icon for the CDC. This just helps with additional resources, providing examples, and answering any additional questions you may have. For rejections, the state or local registrar may reject a record back to the funeral home. A rejection for cause of death does not mean that the statement is wrong from a clinical standpoint, but may lack information per the CDC. The person should receive an email notifying them of the rejection, which explains the reason. The record will show up in the reject slash reassign work queue. The reject tab in the record should indicate the reason for the rejection. Please note that a rejection will clear all signatures. Once corrected, the record will need to be re-signed. Please note on the left hand side under the short comments box, this will only fit one to two sentences for you to explain the reason for the rejection. If you need to provide further information as to why you're rejecting the record, please go ahead and write C notes and further in the PowerPoint, I will show you how 
to create notes where you can add that explanation. On the Signatures tab, the funeral home will sign toward the middle of the page. The first section you will complete is Personal Info Complete. Simply put Y and Tab. This is going to autofill the date and the name of the person who is signing off that the personal information is complete. The next section is where the director signs. They will put yes and tab over. The date and their name will sign. This is acknowledging that they are electronically signing the record that it is complete. Then you will click the floppy disk save button on the top right hand corner. Now I'm going to show you how to create notes. There are two places that you can create a note within the record in the EDRS. Simply click Actions, Show Notes from the top, or you may simply right click on the blue bar at the bottom and click Show Notes. A separate window will appear and click the New button below. You will see a bar be created. This means your note is ready for you to enter your information. Please keep your notes professional. Remember that anyone who has access to this record can read your notes. Once you are complete, please click Save. Once you have saved your note, the bar above will turn gold. You may exit out of that window. Once you exit out of the record and go back in, you will see a small icon down below with the blue bar that says Note Present. Simply double click this box to access all notes within the record. Now I'm going to show you how to upload documents and images into the record. At the top, go back to the Actions bar and select Load PDF slash Word Document. It'll ask you to name the document. Please be brief and specific. We'll then give you the option to browse your computer for the document that you are looking to upload. Please note that you are only able to upload a document that is up to 10 pages. You will then get a preview of the document you wish to upload. If it is the correct document, such as a driver's license, social security card, or any other information, once you are ready, click Save to DB, and DB stands for Database. Once you are done, after clicking Save to DB, you may exit out of the window. Once you have gone out of the record and gone back into the record, you will see an image present down below on the blue bar. Simply double click on this icon in order to access all documents and images that have been uploaded into the record. This is our exception window. You will only receive this window after you have clicked the small floppy disk and are ready to have your record reviewed for completion. If you do have an error that needs your attention, your best option should be to query the field. If you are to click Queried and Verified, you are verifying the information in that field is correct and you would like to move forward. If you decide to click Queried and Verified, it will then turn the field yellow. Your next option is Override. This is stating that you want to move past this field. However, it does not tell us that you verified the information and that it is correct. If you decide to override and use this option, your field will then turn teal. The next option is the rekey option. This is the system stating that you have missed a field that has information that must be entered. Please click rekey and the system will automatically take you to the field that requires you to edit. Once you have made the necessary edit, please click the floppy disk save to restart the exceptions. If you decide to not rekey and perhaps skip the field, the field will then turn green and you will un be unable to move forward in signing or perhaps create issues for others trying to sign the certificate. Then there is the skip button. Please do not use skip under any circumstance. Creating this Clicking this button will create an error and will not allow for some people to sign or perhaps not move the certificate into proper queues for registration. If you need to move past a field, 
we highly suggest that you use the queried and verified field or the override Now I will go over a hard versus soft save. If you have to leave the record in the middle of entering it, please do a soft save. Simply click File and select Save Without Edits. This will not trigger the exception window and will save your record in real time. A hard save is when you click the small floppy disk at the top right hand corner and this will trigger the record to go into review and that will start the exception window as seen in the previous screen. Please use a hard save when you're ready to submit your work to the registrar. Legal timelines. The law specifically states that all death records must be completed within 72 hours from death or discovery. We understand this is a difficult deadline to coordinate among all contributors, including certifiers, funeral homes, and the registrars. The funeral home is required to start the record within 24 hours of death or discovery and assign the certifier at that time. The certifier has 24 hours to complete and sign the record once assigned. If the record is rejected, the certifier has an additional 24 hours to correct the record. Refusal to sign a death record by a certifier is illegal and subject to a fine as imposed by law. If the death was attended by a physician who will not be available within 48 hours after death, the certificate must be presented to the chief medical officer of the institution or an associate physician. The funeral home is required to present the local registrar with the completed death certificate. The funeral director verifies the certifier's signatures are present and then reviews the entire record before submitting for, a reg for registrar review. This is our What to Expect brochure. This is a trifold brochure that the Office of Vital Records has created to provide a summary for the death certificate process, including burial permits, the death certificate itself, and corrections. We have provided information for counties as well as for the state level. This will be a valuable asset to provide to families when they are time to deal in this difficult time. If you would like a PDF of the brochure, please email OVR help and we'll be happy to send it to you to provide to your families. Please contact the EDRS help desk if you need technical assistance. You may give us a call or email us at ovrhelp at health.nv.gov. We have also include Washoe County's number as well. Thank you so much for watching.